Hey, good morning. Happy fun day Sunday. Or Sunday fun day, right? Did you take control of your morning? I pretty much did. And uh, yeah, I did a lot of lives yesterday. I'm sorry if, um, if it's getting a little bit um, too much. Um, but what I am grateful for this morning is connections and realization that, you know, um, whatever, you don't really know the impact you're gonna have on somebody when you do something, um, anything at all. And isn't, wouldn't it be better if it was something positive, if it was a, a, an act of kindness or a compliment or something inspirational, like I try to be every morning. What I'm kind of blown away at is uh, we, we attended a big um, Halloween monster bash last night and some of you watching this may, uh, may know about that. And it was, um, it was really good because I was able to connect with people that I had been, that had seen that, um, some of the posts and had, we'd followed each other. You know, social media is just such a, um, a new thing. It's only 10, 15 years old at the most. For most people, it's, you know, a little less than that. But it's, um, it's, um, it's a good and it's bad, you know? Just like any other uh, distraction is. Um, a distraction in the morning when you first wake up is pretty much allowing yourself to be hijacked by uh, something outside of yourself. So if you can get control of that and just wake up and uh, journal what you're grateful for, um, list out the things you need to do that day, concentrate on being kind to others. I know, Ellen says that. Um, and, and speaking of getting distracted, it's a really windy day, and I know that a lot of people have suffered from power outages, and there are some big fires in California, and it's really scary. Um, and bad things happen to people sometimes. Well, hello, Pam. How are you? You know, thanks for watching. I was looking for your son last night. I thought he was at that party, but um, it was a wild uh, time, and it was really a lot of fun. And I think that. Um, uh, and then the next day, seeing um, um, all the outcome from the communicating. Um, in the past, I haven't been the most social. Uh, my uh, G and I have been a little bit more of uh, homebodies in, in the comfort of our own home, but we've uh, made new commitments to make sure and uh, be more social. So uh, that being said, I come on here every day, <laughs> like I always say, and I ask you if you've taken control of your day by waking up and making sure that the first thing you do before you look at your phone, before you get distracted by bad thoughts or even by your, um, your partner in life or children or television or anything, just do whatever you can to take at least 10 minutes and uh, journal out what you're grateful for and the things that you want to get done that day. And, uh, and it really, really makes a big difference. It really does. So, um, Let's see, and the other thing, I just, I wanted to read, um, if you're in my line of work, which I know that some of you are, um, that right inside of the, this, this month's article, there's, um, there's some quotes that the, uh, the president of the California Association of Realtors says, and he says, today is good and I feel sorry for yesterday. <laughs> uh, another one is, uh, come on, you woke up on this side of the grass, consider if you uh, would have woken up on the other side of the grass. And uh, don't allow people to rent space in your head for free. And that's exactly what I'm talking about when I come on here every day. And uh, last one is, if I were any better, I couldn't stand it. Today is so good, but I'm confident tomorrow will be even better. So that's the other thing. Always look for something positive, someone positive. Always concentrate on changing negative thoughts into positive thoughts. And it's easy to do if you've already written down all the things you're grateful for. <laughs> And, um, and also notice the things that come to you, like people that, that uh, heard something you said six months ago and they're uh, um, affected by it positively today. And uh, hi Susan, and hi Tom. So with that said, have an amazing Sunday. Um, stay safe, um, stay inside. And if you're in Northern California or whatever, if you're somewhere where the weather's bad or stormy, um, and uh, always remember to stay positive and to plug into somebody or something or um, someone who is. All right, take care. Talk to you again.